We are here at the Pamili Hilton Perth for the launch of Australian and Chinese Women's Council. Today's Australian Chinese Women's Council uh, launching day and at the same time we are celebrating the International Women's Day. Uh, we have Australian Chinese women uh, from Eastern States and uh, of course Western Australia, over 140 people. Our purpose of this uh, council uh, is to encourage women financial independence and pursue social and political equality. Is there equal gender representation within the Australian political arena? Not in terms of equal numbers of men and women. In the federal parliament about 30% of the members and senators are female. But there's gender equality in the sense that there are equal opportunities for women to enter Parliament. I'm delighted that the Australian Chinese Women's Council has decided to hold an event on International Women's Day because this is a day to celebrate women's achievement. Chinese Australian women have decided to celebrate this special day to recognise their achievements, their empowerment and the role that they play in Western Australia's economy, political, social and cultural life. So I met uh, two main uh, issues. One is the language because English is not my native language and another is the totally new culture and new environment. I need to change my role to used to this uh, new environment. So that's two challenges, I think quite similar to other uh, working women. We've come an enormous way. Women now have equal opportunities for education. We have laws that require equal opportunities for women in the workplace. We have laws that make it an offence to discriminate against women on the basis of their gender. Attitudes sometimes take longer to change, but I think in the 21st century women can be very proud of their achievements. My family and I moved to Australia in 2006. I think uh, my example is uh, quite similar to many other working women. Uh, I have a language issue. It's, uh, English is not my native language, though I uh, my English is okay, but I still need to spend much time to improve it. And at the same time, I need to find a, a job or to, to back to the uh, society, not stay at home. So I choose an easy way is that I start from the, to do volunteer. This uh, just to try to give more to the, to the society. Women are a vital part of our society. Women contribute in every way. We are part of the economy, we're part of the political scene, we're part of the cultural, social scene. And so imagine a society without women. <laughs> we're absolutely vital and that's why I'm so pleased that International Women's Day is an opportunity to recognise the progress and achievements of women around the world. It's also a time to acknowledge that not every country is able to offer equality of opportunity or gender equality to their women and that's something that we should focus on in terms of our reflections on this day. Women will act a more and more important role in society uh, from uh, uh, individual financial independence uh, to the family financial freedom. We will act a more and more uh, important role on that. Celebrating International Women's Day, supporting women's social, economic and political empowerment is what this event is all about. I'm Melissa Gurney for Undercurrent.